Mark, quick turnaround. Main head on Monday. What's your thoughts ahead of that game? It's going to be a really tough game. You know, not many teams go to Alan Devonshire's side down at Maidenhead and get 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 anything but a tough game. So uh, we're really in for uh, a tough challenge, especially off the back of the, the weekend. Such a tight turnaround. So, um, but it's one we can go in, in in confident mood. It's one we can be excited about. It's one we can't wait to get out in front of our fans again. That feeling on. In the last game in front of our fans is, uh, you know, they're, they're a special moment, and we just want to keep feeding off that energy. We want to keep feeding our fans that energy, and uh, <clears throat> all the players are excited to get back out in that shirt. I mean, with such a tight turnaround, you should be resting players and doing things like that. I think I'll struggle to to get the shirt off of some of those boys. You know, they're going to want to go again. I know they will. It's, it's definitely not deck chair time yet for us. We've got plenty of work to to do and prove, and we want to continue to improve. The, the, the job never changes is, uh, you know, keep trying to improve. You touched on the shackles being off in your post-match. How exciting is that now for these next three home games to look forward to next season, what that could bring? Yeah, I want, you know, again, it's, it's the unknown for this group to play without as much pressure, but there's still plenty of pride. We want to finish as high as up as we can with as many points, and we want to lay a marker down like we have today, and I think the last five or six games have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best teams. You know, Solihull, you know, narrow defeat. Dagenham was a narrow defeat, um, but in the other ones, you know, Bourne Wood, Yeovil away, Notts County at home, we've, we've really delivered and put in together a chunk of games. And, um, you know, we've always spoke about that we've been a bit feast and famine and a bit, you know, we've gone a large spell without a win. And we, we don't want to feel like that again. You know, you can't, you can't beat the winning feeling. You can't beat celebrating with your fans. And we're going to be thirsty for more. Obviously, competition for places, given the form we're in at the minute. You know, players looking for contracts as well. So ultimately, all to play for in these next three games. There's always something to play for in football. You know, everyone's always watching. Everyone's always seeing. We're looking to build something here, you know, something special here and we're looking to build it the order shop way and we want to make sure that, you know, people are fighting for contracts, people are, um, you know, want to be carrying on that good form and keep their confidence going because everyone enjoys their summer when you when you finish on wins and a high and we're, we're certainly searching for that. Injury wise, where are some people standing? Obviously Kev Locko, Toby had such name a few. Yeah, Kevin Locko's trained again, again, you, you name them two players, uh, you know, that's, that's probably why we've gone to Feast and famine. In the famine times, we've been missing key players like that. You know, that one's a big leader in Kevin Locko, and the other one's a quality player in Toby Edsu, who plays a range of positions in and around midfield. And uh, you know, it'd be great to see them before the end of the season for sure. Um, so yeah, we just got to get that balance right. It's such a tight turnaround. Um, we'll take a check on everyone tomorrow. We'll, we'll probably just um, yeah check in on everyone, see who's 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 ready to go. I've got a feeling everyone's ready to go. Um, so it'll be another tough tough choice for me. With these next three games, does this mean that you know maybe some of the younger players, the academy players, could get the chance to have National League football the next, on their CV? Well, we've, uh, how many, you know, we've given a lot of debuts so, so far already. So, um, look, we will, we, will, we will take stock and we'll do what's, what's best for the football club um, always. And um, like I said, it's, it's the club of opportunity. But um, there's not too many shirts open at the moment. And, you know, the mood of that group and the attitude of that group now, they've been through a lot together. I don't think too many of them will be saying, yeah, you can pass my shirt on. I think there will be a few knocks on the door. So, um, you know, th those players deserved what they've done out there today and what they've done in the last games and the whole squad on, on how they've never give up. Uh, you know, they, they deserve to keep that shirt unless they, you know, they need a rest. Just finishing on Maidenhead as a team, obviously going to their place, it's a small ground, tough ground, so we have to be at our best again on Monday. You have to be at your best in this league every week, every day. You have to be at your best, you know, every day. You know, we need to be at our best tomorrow. How do our boys recover? What do they do? You know, you, you can't take anything lightly, especially an Alan Devonshire side. Are you in the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.